Boom. Okay. All right. So you are from San Jose, California. Yes. Obviously you have Midwestern ties, but okay. still, how did you end up at USD? Your dad's in the Hall of Fame here, played football here, mm -hmm. family's from Sioux City, but still you're out in California. How'd you get here? Um, sometimes I ask myself that too. Uh, <laughs> through the recruiting process, just kind of got into the whole process a little late. It was a late bloomer growth wise. So didn't really talk to a whole bunch of schools early on in my high school career. And then um, I, after my junior year, I was out here for a family event and USD was putting on a uh, putting on their summer camps for high school kids. And so my dad said, hey, just bring out your cleats. We'll just go get some experience, go do that. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll do this. I don't want to go to USD. I'm not really expected to uh, go out there. So I ended up doing well at the camp, talked uh, with the coaches, and I uh, guess the rest is history. Now I'm here. We laugh about it. Me and Caleb laugh about it because it's like, he's like, Coach, you didn't even know my name the first year. And I go, I didn't know much about you, to be honest with you, and because he played a different position. And I go, and uh, he was a walk-on kid, showed up when, when practice started, which is not a normal, you know, those kids seem to come and go at a pretty rapid rate. And, um, but, you know, he's I've been working with him the last two years, and it's been a definite blessing. I mean, he's he has earned the right to be on the field. Yeah, right away, uh, he recognized his work ethic and how important playing was to him, and he got better and better. Um, you know, throughout those first two years, uh, put himself in a position where he could contribute and now has become a major contributor for our offense. So, football family, yeah. your cousin, first cousin, is actually on the Dallas Cowboys, Leighton yeah. Van Der Esch. Yeah. So your dad played defense, Leighton plays defense, you're on offense. Did you just want to be different or why? How did uh, that come I about? Know. I always liked scoring touchdowns and stuff growing <laughs> up, so I thought I'd stick with it. Scoring touchdowns. You scored one in Oklahoma. Yes. And watching the replay, it was like, oh my gosh, was he in? In that moment, did you think that it was a touchdown? Like, obviously, you caught it, secured the ball, but did you know? No, I thought I was out. Like, <laughs> I, I caught it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I just ruined my chance to score at Oklahoma. Like, it doesn't come <laughs> around too often. And then, so I saw the ref signal, no, no touchdown or anything. And then I walked back to the sidelines, bummed out. And then uh, <laughs> teammates are coming up to me and they're like, dude, you're, you scored, you, your foot was down. I was like, no way, no, no, it wasn't down. And then the replays were showing, and I was like, oh man, I, I probably scored. Like, they might have reversed this. And then turns out they reversed it. And so it was a pretty cool moment. After review, the receiver's left foot was in the end zone with possession of the football. Therefore, it's a touchdown, South Dakota. All right, very impressive for Caleb Vanderish. He had one touchdown last season receiving. He gets his first tonight. You personally, did you think it was a touchdown? He said he thought he was out. Yeah, no, I, you know, I, I thought it was really close. And then as soon as the replay board came up and showed the catch, it looked more and more like it should have been ruled as a catch. You never know how those replay officials are going to do that. The announcer said you're going to be talking about that for 50 years. Is that true? Yeah, it'll probably come up a few more times. Oh, we'll my see. goodness. We talked about how you got to USD, but still coming here, obviously a huge move from California, different mm -hmm. climate and everything, but you were a walk-on as well. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, did that play into your decision at all? Like, oh, could I stay home, maybe somewhere closer and get some money? Or did you just really embrace the challenge and be like, no, I'm going to work to get a scholarship like you have? Yeah, I thought I think I embraced the challenge definitely. Um, I have some family out here too, so I never really get to see them too often, or got to see them too often growing up. So being out here gives me the opportunity to get to know them more, see them on a more consistent basis. So that definitely played into it as well. I mean, he is—he's uh, one of those kids, and he's devoted to his craft. When it comes to off-season workouts, like in the weight room, extra film work, extra field work. I mean, the kid bench is like 335 pounds as a receiver, which is really impressive for a junior. Um, I'm sure that will even go up as long as he don't get too big. Um, and then he just, you know, you can always, in the middle of summer, you can look out there and he'll be out there practicing, getting extra work in. And his skill level, it's, it's a true devotion to the craft. And uh, I mean, you can tell he loves it and it's actually starting to pay off, which is always good. You know, that's not always a guaranteed when you put in all that time. but. Um, the last couple games he's played really well. He finished the season really well last year, so um, we expect big things in the future too. 
Well, he's worked technically uh, to become a better receiver. Um, he's really developed physically as, a, as an individual. He's stronger, he's much more physical than he was when he came as a freshman. But probably the biggest difference is that he takes great pride in the fact that uh, he understands you know, what he's doing offensively and, and works really hard at his technique uh, to, uh, uh, to be able to go out in the field and execute at a high level. Everybody roots for the underdog, and oh, he would yeah. be in the underdog situation. But they also know that you have to earn it, and he's done that. And um, it's like any of the guys, the guys that they know work really hard. You can tell when they celebrate after a big play. Um, you know, and it just creates that culture here. What makes him different from other wide receivers? I, uh, you know, he. Uh, it's probably his dedication on a regular basis. You know, he's. He loves the film. He pushes himself extremely hard, almost to the point where you got to pick him up, like when he, you know, when he has a bad practice. But uh, that's probably what separates him, and that's why he's he's definitely his game just keeps getting better by week. Well, now we're into Valley play. Yeah. What do you see this team doing? Uh, I think a lot of wins coming up. I have a lot of confidence in this team. I think the team believes in uh, themselves as well. And I was just talking to a few other guys and. We think this is the most talent we've had on a team since we've been here. We truly believe that, so a lot of wins are coming up. All right, and last thing, are you a Sharks fan, being from San Jose? Huge Sharks fan, yeah. We've had a tough start <laughs> to the season, though, so Ooh. hopefully a couple more wins are coming up, too.